Will you die if you eat the dead man on a blue crab? Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me growing up, a lot of older folks used to tell us, don't eat this part of the crab. And, you know, the, the older children used to be like, oh, yeah, because you're going to die. And, you know, when you little, you know, you pretty much believe any and everything, right? So I used to really think you're going to die if you eat this thing right here. So I ain't never used to touch the, the dead man or the mustard. I would just, It was just a negative for me. Now it's time for a moment of truth. No, you ain't going to die if you eat the dead man on a blue crab, a.k.a. their lungs, a.k.a. their gills. And most of us probably done seen somebody eat them anyway, and we see they still walking around you yeah, physically okay. Mentally, they ain't okay because they nasty. But anyway, it's just not recommended for us to eat the lungs of the blue crab because, number one, that's where a lot of the toxins is stored at. You know, you got to think, you know, that's where they, they exchanging their oxygen and releasing all the toxins but sometimes everything don't get released so all the microplastics um a lot of this the, the heavy pollution that's in the water a lot of that is stored inside of these little um dead man fingers these lungs these gills right there so it's like why you want to eat that and then also it's like you got all this other good meat on the crab why do you want to eat that and then y'all feel it is this is like it's, it's so hard for your body to digest that anyway so it's just not recommend for us to consume that you know you ain't gonna die you might get a stomach ache and i feel like you need to go to therapy if you eat this but you know you, you ain't gonna die though just to clear the air you ain't gonna die